Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you uh, about CanCan -can authorization. What is CanCan? -can? Um, what I have here, I have it open the uh, official repository uh, at GitHub. Um, can can uh, as by definition as you can see here is an authorization library for Ruby on Rails which restricts what resources a given user is allowed to access. I mean this pretty much explains what can can is, uh, but not only uh, restricts the resources, but uh, but also the uh, uh, so that you can understand the, 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 the different actions within each resource. I can explain you. Um, better if I just show you the app we're going to build. This is it, this is a local host. The homepage is just a sign in button just to force you to sign in. And I have two accounts set up. So let me actually log in with the second one. Okay, this is the app. So it's just a simple forum when you can uh, ask questions and get some answers. So. Um, each uh, blue rectangle here is a different question, and as you can see here, I'm I'm the second user, so uh, the two at gmail.com. This question was made by me, was asked by me, as you can see here. So I can edit and destroy. But if you see here, this one, what's the color of the cat? This um, was added by the first user, so I have I'm not allowed to edit or destroy. Uh, as well as the answers, as you can see here, this Kevin answer uh, was given by me, so I can delete it. But the Paul, uh, it was it was not, so I can, I have not I'm not allowed to to do anything with it. As well as the red, is not mine, but I have no idea uh, one it, it is, so I can delete it. Uh, I can uh, every user can create a, a different question, so. Just put another question, as you can see here, or um, type some answers, as you can see. Okay, so this is basically uh, basically what can can allows you to do. Um, just allows you to specify what uh, which resource or action uh, does a, does the current user is allowed to access. So uh, the last thing, let me show you just the first user, and why and the reason why is because this user has the, um, the admin privileges. So you can see here, he can do uh, everything. He can delete or edit in each one of the uh, resources, as you can see. Okay, so this is what we're going to build. So let's begin. Okay, so let's begin, create the new Rails app. Um, open the terminal, uh, type Rails new, let's call it my forum. So I'm going to try and do this as fast as I can, since all the uh, all the concepts uh, that we're going to be uh, that you're going to see in this tutorial have already been covered in previous podcasts. So I encourage you to see them if you find it difficult to follow along. So let's start with the uh, device implementation. So in here I have it open. Let's go to the getting started section. Okay, jam device. Let's go, okay, let's open our um, our Sublime My Forum app. Okay, jam file, paste device. Now, bundle install. It's the last thing we need to do. Oh, first we need to go to our directory. Okay, now bundle install. Okay, it's done. Now let's install it with this command. You have to type in your terminal. Okay, it's created. Now let's um, generate the model. So device, let's call it user. Okay, everything is done. Let's go and check here. We already have the migration and I want to have to add an extra, um, an extra field here, which is called admin. So t.boolean. Uh, we want the true or false, uh, and the field is admin. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, we can close this. We don't need. Um, now uh, we'll have 
let's generate um, a scaffold uh, for questions. So we're going to have two resources, main resource. So the one is uh, the first one is questions, and the uh, the second one is answers. So let's Rails G scaffold question, and in the table we want just a column uh, of content, and the type is string. Okay, let's press enter, creating all the files. Now let's Rails G model let's generate a model called answer we just need the the, the model uh, the, in the table our column is content and the type is sorry so many typos is text okay so we just want a model for the uh, for the uh, answer resource we're going to create the controller afterwards so now the next thing we need to do is to uh, add the relationships uh, between the models so let's open the three models at once so the user is going to have many, so has many questions. Okay. Now the question, of course, will belong to a user. Makes sense. Now um, let's stay on the questions. We'll have many answers. We know that the question will is going to have many questions. Now on the answer side, we know that it belongs to question and as well as a user. Okay, we just need to add uh, as many answers on the user model, of course. So this is, these are all the relationships. Uh, just, just indent this, make it more readable. Um, and we're done. This is all we need to do as far as relationships are concerned. So we can close the files here. And now the next thing we need to do is to um, add some fields here to reference the, um, the, uh, the, the, in this case, the answer, we want to reference the question ID as well as the user ID. Okay, and the questions we want to uh, reference the user ID. Okay, all the migrations are set. Um, now we can um, now we can close this and let's migrate the table. But actually, no, sorry. Before, let's generate the home controller. So we can redirect the user accordingly his uh, sign-in status. So the Rails G controller home. I just want to index action. Okay, let's clear. Now in here, I want to uh, change two th uh, two things. The first one is the index page in here. Uh, uh, sorry, the 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 home controller, the index action in here, and the um, in here we don't want anything actually. We can delete everything from the view because we're going to put it right here on the layouts application.html. Okay, so let me just copy the, the, some code I have here. I'm going to explain it. Um, what we want to do in here is very simple. We just want to add this. Um, if statement so if the user is signed in this is the method from device uh, a helper method uh, we want him to redirect him to the questions path okay if the user is signed in on the application um, uh, view we want to do pretty standard uh, condition here which is is not uh, anything that you haven't seen before. So if the user is signed in, we want to display welcome and the, you know, the current user email and the link to log out. And if it's not, we want to put the link to sign in. Okay, so it's all said and done. Um, we can migrate the, 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 the database already, but since we are here, we might as well then configure the routes. So we want to change this to root instead of get. So this is the home page here. And now we want to a nested resource. So we want the, a question um, or else we want the, some answers to be um, 
a part of, of, of that question. Um, so we want to have a, a nested routes. So the way to do this is to put it like this. I'm not going to cover it as much because I already did in the previous tutorial, but it's something like this. Resources questions to resources answers. This is going to link the uh, these two together. Okay, this is all there is to the routes section. And I think we can now um, migrate the table there, the database. Okay. Also, okay, no errors. All the three tables were created. Um, let's add the um, now the, uh, the the answers control. So as we have already the the questions all set up, let's um, let's add a controller for the uh, answers. So let's add a, here a new file. Let's call it answers underscore controller uh, dot rp. And let's add a folder here for the respective views, of course. So answers. Okay. Now, in here, in the answers controller, I'm going to paste some code I have. Um, it's very simple, very straightforward. Just put it here. I'm going to explain it. So, you just have the create and the destroy action. And you can see as we've uh, as we um, we have done it or as we did already, um, it's just um, making answers um, through the questions. So link them, uh, link the answers to the to a respective question. Um, and in, in here is the same thing. And of course the private method to set the params. This is all things that you uh, have seen so far. I'm sure. Um, now what we need to do is create a partial in here so that it can be um, display each answer. So you put answer.html.erb. This is going to be the partial in here. Um, before I populate the partial, um, let me sh let me show you the, the index view of the. Um, of the question, so we're going. I'm going to replace this with code that I already have, and I'm going to explain it. So let's let me go here, delete all of this, and replace this code. It's not too much. So in here is the same thing, new question, but now uh, for each question we have here, I wanted to give a uh, not title is content, so I want to to, to give the, the the content of the question. I want to to, uh, to use this. I, I use this Ruby method here. This helper uh, is to say the uh, the time ago, so when it was created. So displaying the 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 created at field in here and uh, by by whom. Uh, now I have in next I have two links: the edit and destroy. And it and now if if it, if it, if that question has any answers, so display them. In here, display the partial. This partial here that I'm going to populate right now. Uh, afterwards, just have a sim the simplest form here to add um, a question, uh, an answer to that question. Okay, let's just have um, the partial here. I'm going to paste some code here. As you can see, uh, all in the same p tag. Um, it's just the answer dot content, and afterwards a link to delete that uh, content. So let's see what we have so far. I pretty, th I pretty much think we have the app completely um, made. Let's just um, check it out. Okay, so the sign in button, as the home page has, we don't have any users. So let me just have the first user. Okay, let's add the other the, the, the other user as well. So far, not login, but sign up. Password, password. Okay, I have two uh, users now. If I type a question, okay, so some question. Um, what did I did? What did I go wrong? Oh, 
I know what I have. I, for I completely forgot one thing. In here, I don't want this create. This is not what I want. What I actually want is to set the user to the current user because I want to uh, link the question to the user. The same, the same thing as the, the answer to the question. I want to do the same thing um, to the question uh, to the user. So I want to link the question to the user as well. So the way to do this, you put, uh, you assign the current user to this variable here. And now we do the question is equals the user, not question, but questions dot build. Okay, this is going to um, link the question to that user. So let me, uh, let me Go to the root page as well. So of course now I have a, I have a, a, an error here of course. So let me just just let me just delete the um, all the, the data that I have. Um, clear so. Let's put Rails C user dot not user but question question dot first I didn't have okay dot destroy I think I can do this so question dot count zero okay think now it's cool all right as you can see so let's type a new question so some question if I put back, you can see here, it's all created. So it was created by the second user. I can edit and destroy, and I can add uh, answers here. And I can delete it. OK, so all the app um, is, 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 is complete now. Now we are able to um, implement CanCan. -can. So let's do it. Uh, let's just delete this um, the question here. OK. Um, the way you do this, the first thing is to, of course, install a gem. So let's do it. Let's go to the gem file, install can cam, clear. I don't want to clear this one. Let's just stop this and put bundle. Sorry, install. Okay. The next thing is just to create the ability model. Just type this command. On your terminal, and you see, you just create one file. It's the ability.rb. Okay, now I'm going to explain how this can can work. So let's go. To, let's just close this views and controllers. We don't need. Let's go to our models and open the ability model. Okay, you can see, you just have one uh, initialize method, and you put all your. Uh, you, you check all your um, abilities in here. I'm gonna, and the way to do this is very simple. I'm going to put just an if else uh, if else statement here. And remember when I put the boolean um, field there. The reason why is this: this user here, Ken Ken is very smart. So this user here is the um, the current user session. It doesn't matter which which kind of authorization library you are using. In this case, I'm using a um, device and you may ask, oh, but it shouldn't be current user there. No, this is always getting the uh, current user session, uh, user. Okay, so what I want to check here is if the user, if the current user is admin, I want him to be able to do some things, but if it's not, and I want to be uh, I want him to be able to do some other things so the way you you check abilities is right there let me check if you open this tab I already have it open here if you come here defining abilities you you use the can method and the it's as you can see here is used to define permission and and requires two arguments and the arguments are the first one is the the, the action that you are you are you are going to uh, to add the ability so create read a plate and destroy the second one is the model on which you are um, uh, setting the permission for 
So let me show you how to do this. What are the actions that we want all the users to have? Is the create questions and create answers. So we, uh, we can start by those. The way to do this is you type can now the action, which is create, comma, the model. That's simple. Okay, can create question. Let's do the same for answer. Okay, it can create questions and can create answers. But now, um, let's um, do the other abilities that we are checking as well. So, for the questions and answers, the update and destroy, uh, we want to be, be, to, to only. Uh, grant access to the, to, to the owners of the questions and uh, the answers. And the way you do this is, is passing a block. I'm going to show you how. You put can, you know, the, uh, the, the action name here, so it's update. You put question, which is the model, and now you pass a block. Like this. Very simple. And here. And now just type the, let's say, it's like this is going to work like a, a condition here. If you just type question dot user is equal to user, so I will only be able to update a question if I'm the current uh, if I'm the question user uh, owner. I'm sorry. The same thing for this try. So let's copy and put this try as well. And since we are since we are here, I think we can do the answer as well, which is the same thing. The uh, destroy, not the create, because everyone can create um, answers. So we just want to restrict the destroy action. If, not question, but answer, it's just, okay. We can destroy answer if uh, the user of the answer is uh, the current user, that is uh, logged in. Okay, so this is how you check uh, abilities. Uh, the second uh, step you have to do, there are actually three steps. This is the first one. Now the second step is to go into your actual view in here and check these two uh, links here. Now the actions that we are um, permitting here, we are actually granting permission. Where is the, uh, sorry, the ability is here the update and the destroy for the question. So we have to go to the views. This is the update and this is the destroy. The way you, you do this is very simple. You just have, just add an if statement here and you type can with a question mark. It's going to check uh, the ability model. If it can, now you put the action and the current object that you are um, that you are checking, which in this case is this question here, it's each question. So you type question. And of course you put end in here. It's that simple. In the same way you do this for the destroy. Let's do it. Okay. Um, let's actually uh, try this on. Let's Start the Rails S. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, I'm already logged in. Let's type a new question. My question is let's go back. Okay, as you can see, I can edit and destroy. But now let's log out and let's log in with the other user. Password. You see? It's working already. No edit and destroy because this po this question is not uh, is not my own, so I cannot. I do not have this pre those privile privileges, um, but I still can, of course, create an answer, and I can delete. But uh, we haven't checked that yet. So the next step uh, is to check the um, the delete. So because if you if you see, I can I, I type this answer here, and if I do the same thing. I now log in with the other user, you see here, I shouldn't be able to delete it. This is not my answer. I shouldn't be able to delete it. So let's fix this. The way to do is the same thing as you've done here. 
as you did here. So you you're going to the, the the partial, and you had a condition right here. So if can destroy answer. Sorry, put end here. Okay, let's try it. You see, already working. Just disappear. I'm not the owner of this answer, so I cannot. Let me let me type another another uh, one here, and you see I can delete this one because I'm 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 the owner of this one. You see, so it's it's all working. So let me just show you how to to grant the uh, admin. How are how are we going to use the admin here? I, I saved this for last because there's a special action that uh, ability that uh, ability sorry that can can um, gives you uh, which is called manage. What this does is essentially um, it's this represents all the uh, CRUD actions. So uh, what you're actually doing here is saying that you can create, you can read, you can update, and you can destroy. And now which model? Actually, you could put all, and this is a real admin. So you can do all the CRUD actions in all the models. So let's um, let's actually put this um, to effect. Let's let's call the first user user dot first. As you can see here, admin is nil. Let me put okay, is nil. Let me put as true. Now you save. Okay, it's working. So as you can see, I'm the number one. Let me create a new question here. Another question. Let's go back. My question is another question. As you can see, both of them are created uh, um, by the second user. But if you remember, I just uh, grant the first user admin privileges. So I should um, have ability to edit everything and as you can see I can edit destroy the question that I do not own I can delete every single answer as you can see here so all of this is uh, is working this is what can can does um, it's very easy to implement as you can see uh, just the last thing I want the, the last step uh, we have to cover as I said we have three steps of the, of, of checking this uh, these disabilities um, the first one is uh, defining the ability on the model the second is uh, checking on the on the view but now see this I want to do a test with you if you see okay this is the uh, number three and I'm sure this is uh, number four okay so it's question number three and number four uh, I'm gonna okay I'm gonna make a new question uh, from the user number one so uh, just testing I'm lacking of imagination right now okay so this is from the user number one um, let me just log out and sign in with the user number two As you can see here, I cannot edit or destroy this post here, which is, uh, of course, I'm, I think it's number five. Okay, so this post here, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to edit. Let's see this. If I come here to the URL and type five, I can still see it. I'm seeing the show page, and I can still edit. So. What's the point? This this this, this doesn't work. Uh, it's just this it, just um, deletes the the links, but I can still go through the URL. So the the three the the third step of this uh, authorization library is going to the controller to specific actions you want to authorize, and then specific uh, you have to specify there um, if you do authorize or not. Let me give you an example of that. Um, let's go to the questions here. Okay, that's perfect. Um, the, the, the way you do this is uh, you have to add 
a simple line here which is authorized update question in this case and this will check this simple line of code this will when you go to that action this will go to can can and this will ask and can am i able to see this or uh, read or um, or create this if not give me an error if yes okay let me proceed so you will see right now this this will raise an error because this post number number five here i'm not able to 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 do anything with it so let's try and go there number five and it, here it is can can access denied you are not authorized to access this page very cool the last thing i want to show you how how to manage this um this error handling here and you have a very uh, uh, a special um, you say um a rescue from method that you can use um, i'm going to just copy and paste it i'm going to explain it which it's very self-explanatory okay let's open the application controller and on the end type this line of code this bit of code here rescue from can can access denied so rescue from that error when when it gives you that error I want him to redirect not to the root URL but to the questions URL and give me this alert here which is the exception message and now I can come here this is just a flash I can use a I can use a flash here flash uh, and it was called alert here this is the only thing I need to do actually now let's try again let's go to questions now let's try again and go to the number five I shouldn't be able to do it so if I go to number five you see here you redirect me to the questions path and give me this message here you are not authorized to access this page okay so as you can see, this is very easy to implement, and this is, um, I think it will be very helpful for you. Because um, you see, we, we have, this is a very, very simple app, but, but with all the functionality that you basically need. Uh, you are basically authorizing each user, uh, depending on, on which uh, status he has or uh, abilities. Um, so um, this is it this is all there is um, from can can uh, and i encourage you of course to um, uh, to read more about this because this is this have um, a lot more features to it um, but um, this is it this is um, the can can authorization library for ruby on rails i hope you've been like i hope you've enjoyed it and see you again in another stuckcast.